The last universal common ancestor, or LUCA, is known not from fossils but from one molecule shared by every living cell, the ribosome. Ribosomes build proteins in bacteria, archaea, plants, and animals, and their core structure is nearly identical everywhere. This universality means the same ancient machine was already running inside LUCA more than 4 billion years ago. Because ribosomes are stable and deeply conserved, they give us the clearest picture of LUCA's world. Ribosomes show that LUCA already used RNA and DNA, since they depend on a genetic code that has remained unchanged across all life. Their catalytic center is made of RNA, pointing to a stage when RNA still performed both informational and chemical roles. The stability of ribosomes also tells us LUCA had a dependable system for making proteins far beyond anything in simple prebiotic chemistry. Ribosomes reveal other details too. They can function only inside a controlled, enclosed environment, meaning LUCA had a membrane, even if primitive. And because ribosomes require a steady input of energy-rich molecules, LUCA likely lived in environments with natural chemical gradients, such as early hydrothermal settings, Tracing modern ribosomes backward shows that bacterial and archaeal versions diverged after LUCA. This places LUCA at the exact branching point from which all later life evolved. Everything that followed advanced metabolism. Organelles, multicellularity, was built on top of this ancient protein-making framework. Ribosomes therefore do more than connect us to LUCA, they define what LUCA had already achieved, a universal code, an RNA-rich core, a membrane-bound interior, and a consistent way to build proteins. Through ribosomes, we see how life's earliest true cells operated.